Hello, Aquarius. It's Melanie from Melanie's Way Tarot. Now coming to do your weekly weekend read. Oh no, sorry. Here weekly reading, weekly love reading for the week of. Um, I almost started over, but I feel like I should just keep going. <laughs> for the week of eight twenty eight through nine four two thousand seventeen, the cards I am using today are. Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I'll like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road. All right, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Aquarius. Oh my God, it flew all the way across the floor. Let me go find it. Flew in the cage with the killer dog. All right, so we're just going to put this sideways. So basically, there's some truths and some lies going on. Okay, usually when I don't know which way it was, I just put it sideways. So what's going on for the Aquarius? Aquarius. You know what? I didn't show the cards yet. So it's basically going on with the truth and lies. What's going on for the Aquarius love reading? Aquarius love reading. 8, 28 through 9, 4, 2017. Aquarius love reading. Aquarius love reading. What's going on? What's going on? All right. Oh, so um, seems like some kind of stuff is hidden from you. Somebody's hiding stuff from you, hiding things that have went on with their ex or that is going on with their ex. Or they may be hiding stuff from their person about you. OK, but this is ex is hiding something. So whatever the secret is, is um. It's a negative influence on you. I feel like it's taking you to a dark place, whatever the secret is. All right. Wow. So I'm feeling like somebody is not happy about their ex making a sacrifice. And it's took them to a bad place. And I keep hearing babies. So somebody is not happy about their ex um terminating the pregnancy okay um let's clarify the sacrifice card what's going on with the sacrifice card for the aquarius all right so if somebody's in disbelief about the situation okay so hmm yeah, so somebody's in disbelief about the situation and they feel like somebody took something from them. So it's just something that your ex either took from you or just didn't give you that makes you feel like, I mean, it's just taking you to a bad place. All right, yeah, wow. <sighs> so whatever this is, it's spiritually mentally physically draining you like these are the darkest cards in the deck the darkest cards in the deck wow okay so whatever this thing that they took from you this emotionally draining for you it um you feel like you was violate, violated, you know? You didn't have no say-so on whatever went on, and now you're you're on fire. You're on fire. I just heard stalking, so I don't know if you stalking or somebody stalking you. Okay, so for some of you, this hasn't happened yet. Some, some like this feeling is like a slow come up. It wasn't just like a boom overnight kind of thing. It like gradually made you madder and madder every single day or sadder and sadder, whatever side you are on in this situation. Okay. Burdens. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, so you, it seems like you might still be tra sexually attracted to this person because they're an honest person. They came out and told you, hey, this is what it is. This is how it's going to be. Either you're going to deal with it or you ain't. Or they just like, this is how it's going to be and disappeared into the night. Okay? You know, you still love them. Uh, I mean, not love them. Are attracted to them because of their traits and stuff. But they took you into a real nasty, dark place. Okay? All right. What's going on for the Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius love reading. What's going on for Aquarius? 8, 24 through 9, 4, 2017. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Get out of my pocket. Sorry. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I don't... Like this, this, this reading. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, this says this all because of, um, somebody, um, terminated a pregnancy. Mm. And this could be because of a third party situation. Okay. And it ended up in, oh my God, this is like, oh, I don't even know what to say here. Um, okay, uh, we're looking for the death card. Um, a dramatic change, the end of some current situation in death, life begins again. The beginning of a new situation. Then we have the Empress. My heart is burning right now. Uh, uh, a time that you may doubt yourself or your um, circumstances. However, new and exciting times are approaching. A time of love, sensuality, sens sensual, I can't say it. You know what I'm trying to say. Pregnancy may be indicated. <clears throat> Doubting yourself, new beginnings, pregnancy, in love. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to let the dog out to get your cards off the cage. And now he's terrorizing the neighborhood. Alright, so we got the three of coins here. The three of coins says it may be time to to get what you want. There will be much need for work and skill to succeed. Okay. Now I got the three of swords. It says, a broken heart, whether in a relationship or life, an ending to an, an affair, a bitter heartbreak, take care of emotional problems. So, I don't know. So, I feel like somebody ended the pregnancy because of a third party situation. You got the two, three cards, and this one is the big heartbreak. So, maybe this person, you had to travel to see them, or... um Maybe you guys are supposed to go on some trying to trip together, but I feel like somebody just cut you dry, and that was it. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.